Hello everyone, I'm Li Xintang from Miss Berkeley. I'm happy to present my, our work, Transactional Panorama, a framework that supports customizing the properties and performance for presenting visual results in a data analytical visual interface. Many data analytical interfaces are visual interfaces, and every visual interface needs to refresh its visualizations. For example, in a spreadsheet, each cell could be regarded as a visualization. If the user modified the value of a cell, the formulas that paint on the cell will be recalculated, and corresponding values will be updated. In a dashboard, if the underlying data is changed, the system needs to compute the new results and refresh the visualizations. In addition, if the filter is modified, the visualizations that are derived from that filter will also be updated. In this context, one critical question is how to efficiently present visual results during a refresh, especially when this refresh has a long time, takes a long time. We find the existing tools adopt different ways to present results and have different problems. For example, some existing tools will hide all of the visualizations in the, during the refresh, which significantly hinders the exploration, and some users are not happy about it. For example, one Excel, Excel user complains that the spreadsheet locks up during basic calculations and the entire screen freezes. Some other tools mitigate this problem by only hiding the visualizations on computations, but still have limited interactivity. The third option does not hide anything, but the user will see incoherent results. Some of them are old results, and the rest of them are new results. With incoherent results, the user will get incorrect insights when deriving these insights from multiple visualizations. Given these options, two important questions are, what other options we have? What is the best way to customize a visual interface for presenting visual results? To answer the two questions, we take a principled approach. We look at the basic properties that are selectively supported by existing options, including visibility, coherence, and monotonicity. Visibility means no hiding. The user can always interact with any visualizations. Coherence guarantees the user always sees a single version of the results. For monotonicity, it means if the user sees a result of a visualization, they won't see an older result for the same visualization later. Given these properties, we find all of the possible property combinations and map each of them back to point solutions. What's interesting is that we have discovered three new options that are not in existing tools and make different performance trade-offs. We have defined two performance metrics and demonstrated the performance trade-offs across different options. Therefore, all of these uh, property and performance trade-offs form the panorama of this design space. As a result, this panorama opens a new dimension for, the, uh, for customizing a visual interface, where the developers can specify their property and performance requirements for presenting visual results and build a visual interface with those specified requirements maintained. To build this panorama, we first represent the programs for computing a visualization result, a result as a view, where each view could be a database query, a spreadsheet formula, or UDF. Then we model this refresh problem as concurrency problem, where the system is updating the view results and the user is concurrently reading the view results by looking at the screen. Here, the user is the rectangular area the user is looking at is called the viewport. The user can always can also modify the viewport to explore other parts of a dashboard. A natural abstraction for addressing a concurrency problem is database transactions. But applying database transactions in this context is not easy and requires addressing several challenges. First, in transaction panorama, the user reads the view results by looking at the screen, which is different from relational databases where the transactions are explicitly issued. Therefore, how to model this looking at behavior as transactions is a challenge. The second challenge lies in formalizing the VCM properties. We find all of the isolation levels cannot be directly used or adopted to uh, model this coherence property. In addition, we need to model 
um, visibility and monotonicity intersections as well. Given these properties, we also need to and formally understand the feasibility of different property conditions and design new concurrence control protocols for maintaining the VCM properties. Overall, transaction panorama includes four layers. In this talk, I will focus on the first three layers. Let me start with the abstraction one. First, a refresh is modeled as a transaction, which essentially computes a new version of the view results. Consider this example. This refresh section includes updating the filter to California and computing the view results for view one to view three. We call a version of results committed if its refresh section is committed. If a view result is not computed yet, it is marked data on the computation state, which is shown as a loading icon here. For simplicity, we assume there is only one refresh section in the system, but our model can be easily extended to support multiple refresh transactions. The next question is how to model the user reading the view results by looking at the screen. We model this looking at behavior and the sequence of trans transactions called read transactions. For this example, we have three read transactions issued to read the views in the view port. In this case, it's view one and view two. What's unique about the read transaction is that if a requested result is not computed yet, it will not wait, but directly return an um, under computation state. For this example, the second read transaction intends to read the new results for view one and view two, since they're not computed yet, two under computation states are returned, and the interface will hide the corresponding visualizations. These visualizations will, will be further updated when future read transactions return new results. We see that there are many possible results that could be returned by the read transactions. Some of them are old results, some of them are new results, or even mixed one. Therefore, VCM properties are adopted to regulate which results to return. Let's move to the property layer. For visibility, it guarantees no uncomputation states are returned. For multiplicity, it means if a read transaction reads the result of a view, any future reads on the same view will not return an older result. Finally, for coherence, it requires each read transaction to read one version of the, result, the view results. For our run example, if coherence is required, we will only return the old or the new results, but not the mixed one. So the question is, which version of the results to return for each read transaction? Depending on the answers, we have defined three types of coherence. The first one is coherence fresh, which always reads the new results. Under the hood, it will return many uncomputation states. As a result, from the user's point of view, they will see many visualizations being hidden from them. On the other hand, coherence committed always reads the recently committed results. For this example, it will read the old results until the new ones are committed. Therefore, this coherence will return many old results. Finally, coherence minimal sits between the prior two types of coherence. Intuitively, it will read the old results until the new ones in the viewport are computed. For this example, after we have computed the new results for view one and view two, they are presented to the user without having to wait for the result of view three. Formally speaking, it requires each read transaction to read the recent version of the results that return the minimal number of uncomputation states. One thing to note is that this minimal number of uncomputation states may not be zero depending on what, depending on what other properties we need to additionally maintain. For comparison, coherence fresh prioritizes returning fresh results and re but returns more uncomputation states. Coherence committed is the opposite, and coherence minimal sits in between. With all of those properties defined, let me demonstrate the possible property combinations and show the newly discovered options. We develop theorems to understand the possible and impossible property combinations. Without diving into the proofs, let me directly show the results. 
First, we can maintain coherence community, monotonicity, and visibility together. Trivially, we can also maintain monotonicity and visibility together. Coherence fresh could be maintained together with monotonicity, but not visibility. Coherence minimal could be maintained together with monotonicity or visibility, but not both. Next, I will show I will map each pro property combination to existing and new options and use an example to demonstrate their difference. In this example, we have we need to refresh three visualizations. After we have computed the new results for view one, view two, we will change or modify the viewport to read view two and three. After that, view three is computed. For simplicity, we will focus on the first three actions. For the existing options, we find the combination of monotonicity and coherence fresh corresponds to option two, which progressively presenting new, uh, presents new results to the user and hides the visualizations on the computation. The combination of monotonicity and visibility corresponds to option three, which sacrifices coherence. Option one hides everything during the refresh and is not covered by our framework because it is dominated by option two. Therefore, we have, we have discovered three new options that are not in existing tools. First, the combination that involves coherence committed will always read the old results until the new ones are committed. The combination of orthodoxy and coherence minimal will read the old results until the new ones in the viewport are computed. But after we have modified the viewport to read view two and three, we will choose to read the new results to maintain monotonicity. On the other hand, um, on the other hand, the combination of visibility and coherence minimal will sacrifice monotonicity to maintain visibility. After we have modified the viewport to read view two and three, we choose to read the old results. Next, I will show the performance trade-offs across different options. We define two performance metrics. The first one is called invisibility, which represents the average time when a visualization in the viewport is invisible from the user. Consider this example. One visualization is invisible for 1,000 milliseconds. Since we have two visualizations in the viewport, its invisibility is 500 milliseconds. The second metric is staleness which represents the average time when a visualization result in the viewport does not belong to the latest version of the view results. For this example, its staleness is 1000 milliseconds because both visualization results are old results. With the performance metrics defined, let me demonstrate the performance trade-offs using an experiment. The section panorama is implemented in an open source visual analytical tool called Superset. We use a dashboard that is derived from the TipsEdge benchmark. And this test, for this test, we need 1% of the data to uh, trigger one refresh, which takes 40 seconds. And during the refresh, we will regularly move the viewport upward and downward. We see that the combination of monotonicity and co coherence fresh has highest invisibility but zero stillness because it always reads the new results. Specifically, its invisibility is 17 seconds, which means on, av on average, a visualization in the viewport in the is invisible for 70 seconds during this 40 seconds test. If the refresh is frequent, there will be a much longer time when visualizations are invisible from the user. Therefore, we expect this option to be adopted when the refresh is not frequent and the user only wants to see the up-to-date results such as modifying a filter in a dashboard. On the other hand, the combination that involves coherence committed is preferred under frequent refreshes. Because it has zero invisibility, although it has highest staleness. The combination of monotonicity and visibility makes a better performance trade-off, but it sacrifices coherence. The combination of visibility and coher coherence minimal sits in between and sacrifices monotonicity. Finally, the combination of monotonicity and coherence minimal makes a pretty good performance trade-off. 
it has much smaller invisibility compared to coherent fresh and also smaller stillness compared to the other three property combinations. Therefore, it is a good option for improving the freshness of visualization results if the user is willing to tolerate a small amount of invisibility and still wants to maintain coherence. There are still many things not covered in this talk, such as variants for exploiting the full performance trade-offs. The protocols for maintaining VCM prop properties at board. To summarize, transaction panorama is framework that supports the consolidation of properties and performance for presenting visual results. It discovers new options and bring stateless transactions to end-user analytics. Thanks for listening. I'd like to take any questions.